All right, Shalom. I'm Officer Lahab, Oklahoma City. This is my wife. Uh, well, we watched all the videos from Deacon IBLs, the captains before. And, uh, I mean, it just looked like a lot of fun. We didn't really, we really didn't have any expectations coming in. So we just kind of thought, we just, we kind of thought we just kind of hanging out. It was going to be real easy, laid back, and nothing, nothing too challenging. It was absolutely the opposite of what we thought. Uh, we really had we had to be vulnerable um, and kind of let on let on to some things that we wouldn't necessarily we wouldn't necessarily uh, talk about beforehand or with anybody else because a lot of times we come into marriage and you know we just kind of winging it. We you know we've never done it or we've had unsuccessful marriages and so it was it was just being vulnerable and then having proper examples to kind of help us out. Um, just like my Lord said, uh, not having really big expectations, um, uh, but uh, kind of just looking forward to learning from everybody else, those who have been here before us. Um, this is our first cabin trip, so just trying to gain uh, some information that we could take back. So, yeah, I mean. You know, we, we're going to have to In the see. near future, because y'all are yeah, new, new age. Absolutely. So we're going to take back a lot of the information that we learned, uh, a lot of stuff that we hadn't really thought about, and we're going to apply. So we plan on it uh, being being helpful to our marriage, but we just have to see. We'll have to see kind of what, what, you know, what the future brings. But it, it, it was all a lot of really, really great information, and it all seems like you know, it's going to be beneficial. Yeah. I think so, too. A lot of good information came out. A lot of pros and cons, things that you want to do, things that you don't want to do. So, uh, like my Lord said, we'll know for sure once we get back home and see if we actually apply. Because it really does give us a chance to be, because uh, we're newly married, about three months. And so, uh, it gives us a chance to be proactive rather than reactive to situations. So, we have to get in front of a lot of situations. Whereas, we, you know, we, like I said, we wouldn't even think about this stuff before. So, really good, really good stuff. We didn't pick, all right? I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight up what happened, all right? I got done pretty bad, all right? It's a joke, but I got done pretty bad. Let's put it like that. Well, originally we had our own cabin. Okay. It fell apart, and one day I came to Captain AZ's house, and they was having a cabin meeting. Right. So me feeling, you know, heard about it, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> my thing cabin and dismantled us. I was eavesdropping and listening in on a conversation or whatever. And luckily somebody fell off and then we had we had the money to do it, so we asked could we get with them. So we ended up being the last, the sixth wheel of the cabin. Six wheel. The okay. sixth wheel. We were the last family. It's the sixth wheel. We were the last family to uh to get in, so uh, but we paid first. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Both years. Yeah, we had to come in with correct. <laughs> we paid first. But the cabin itself, it was perfect. You know, what I mean, the most I put our cabin together because we got younger. We got we got a younger couple. Uh, most of us is in the mid, and then we have an older couple that have experience. Twenty two years of experience right. in marriage. They've been together forever. So we kind of wanted to see how it was gonna. Be be but we mess perfectly marriage is huge especially us repenting us making sure that we putting our marriages in a in a in a great righteous light and things like this people our people don't think about you know doing retreats to where we are with our spouse and building each other up and we're not just coming here just to have fun and kick it in we do we have fun we have a good time right you know what i mean we love each other but at times, it get uncomfortable because we do certain things like little workshops, little uh, little couple games and stuff like that where things, where our business get put out on the street. Everybody know what's going on between us. We put it out there because we want to hold each other accountable on the things that we need to work on, things we need to get better at, and you know what I mean? And things that we do well. So, it's very good. It ain't just, Fun and games, it gets some emotional, it's emotional times that happen. It's you know what I mean. So we actually we counsel each other. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of things that we do here, okay. and it's something I believe that everybody should do. 
every marriage couple should should at least have a, a nucleus of people that they go out with or they hang out with and go do a retreat and build and bond with each other. You know, what do, what do you think about this? I think that's right. I mean, we kind of, we grow each year. Right. So just by seeing other couples and how they operate at their house or the things that, maybe they're like their love language. You know what I'm saying? Like we just see how they operate, what their love language is. And it kind of helps, you know, you try to like kind of figure out, you know, or give you ideas. Like, okay, maybe I should try this. You know, maybe your Lord might like that. You know, you see another sister doing something and you're like, okay, let me try this and see if my Lord likes this. So I think it's really good. You know, I, we all learn from each other. You got people on the outside that's looking in at you and they can tell you, you know, like, yes, you do do this and you need to change this, sis. Or yes, you do do that, brother, you need to change that. So we hold each other accountable you know, each year to make sure that we are still growing and that we are progressing in our marriage, make sure we're not backsliding. Also, it shows that the grass ain't always green on the side. That too. <laughs> because you be thinking they in the worst marriage ever until you, the stuff so come out, you're like, oh shoot, I'm glad I ain't gotta deal with none of that, you know? <laughs> I ain't gotta deal with that. And and you, you seem to value your relationship a lot more. You know what I mean? So it's like, we do learn from each other. Um, and it's a very good thing for building. You know, this is something we're gonna do every year. I think here at the Cabin Trip, we actually listen to each other more. We communicate a little bit more. And we actually are listening to each other at home. It's not really like that, because you're kind of on edge. You know what I'm saying? You got the kids bothering you. You just want to relax and chill out. But what I really want to do that we do here is hang out with each other a little bit more. Um, another sister recommended setting a calendar to where mm -hmm. we have something planned just for us to help the children Damn. just for <laughs> us it could be a movie night it could be going out to eat um just hanging out playing board games cards something like that i want to incorporate that into our our marriage and i learned that here there's people here that do that and you know we weren't really doing that so i think that i definitely want to do that and, and i can admit um when we out doing a lot, we do a lot in this truth. Yes, me and uh, and sometimes, you know, our wives is way in the back burner. I'm be honest with you, you know. We have a lot of stuff that we do. We deal with a lot of people, especially when you upper leadership or whatever. You deal with a lot of issues, you don't get to handle yours. Uh, and I think, like you said, like love language, uh, us spending more time, that's something we gotta do, you know what I mean? You know, it's something we have to do. It is what it is.